The federal investigation into Hunter Biden is hitting a boiling point as House Republicans demand the White House turn over documents regarding his overseas business dealings during the Obama administration. Quote, if the Russian government is attempting to influence American policy in Ukraine by exploiting Hunter Biden's connection with his father, the American people deserve to know it. Brett Tolman is a former federal prosecutor and the executive director of Right on Crime. He joins us now. Brett, based upon what you have seen, why do you say Hunter Biden should be indicted? Todd, if it were anybody else, they would have already been indicted. Can you imagine if the contents of this laptop applied to, say, Don, Donald Trump Jr. or, or somebody else in, uh, that's on the political right, as opposed to where you know Hunter Biden was positioned at the time? The, the laptop itself and the testimony of Bobolinsky outlines a conspiracy among multiple individuals to hide the income that they were receiving from Ukraine and possibly China, and then to distribute that money without the government knowing it, and then to avoid taxes on it. All of that is, is justifying search warrants. It's justifying criminal charges. And this could have been brought months and months ago. Brett, who else should be in, indicted in this? Well, from Bobolinsky's testimony, who is a business part partner of Hunter Biden's, along with the contents of several emails, you have the possibility that it's Jill Biden, Joe Biden, James Biden, the uncle, as well as Hunter Biden, and then various others that facilitated their ability to take money from countries, large amounts, millions of dollars we're talking about, Todd, and to be able to hide that from the government and to hide what they were buying with that money, which, you know, we're afraid to see maybe access that was given to the vice president at the time. To follow up, would you go after President Biden? I would be issuing, months ago, I would have issued search warrants. I would have requested FISA warrants to uncover what was happening with China. I would have put together, um, you know, a team of people I know that there are U.S. attorneys that are well-meaning, and, and the U.S. attorney in Delaware, for example, has had this case for a long time. Anybody else in this country, this would have, we would have seen these indictments uh, probably before the election. The White House, of course, denying all of this. Listen to what they said yesterday. During the last presidential debate, then Vice President Biden was asked if there was anything inappropriate or unethical about his son's relationships, business dealings in China and or in Ukraine, the president said nothing was unethical. We absolutely stand by the president's comment. And I would point you to uh, the reporting on this, which referenced statements that we made at the time uh, that we gave to The Washington Post, who worked on this story. Uh, and But as you know, I don't speak for Hunter Biden, so there's not more I can say on that. Let's fast forward to a jury. You are in charge. You're delivering your opening statement. What is the thesis of your case, Brett? You know, the jury needs to know the full context of what Hunter Biden was doing and who he was doing it for. And I would be articulating that it is not just about one individual. It's about an individual that has the ability to put a very powerful, influential person in our country, his father, next to and with other foreign nationals that want something from the government. That is a classic pay to play scheme, giving them access to the highest levels of our government. We should be outraged, but a jury should be motivated and should be returning indictments against at least Hunter Biden and perhaps his father and others. And coming off that soundbite we played, obviously the White House is standing firm in its denials of this. That's setting up a clash for the entire country and world to see. Brett Tolman, the name of your organization is Right on Crime. That's the way I said it. I believe it's that and not Right on Crime, because that would be awkward and against <laughs> brand. Brett Tolman, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> right on right. crime, yes. Thanks so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.